Today, we have a new desktop CPU maker, RTX 4090 gets three fans, AMD's next-gen Ryzen 3D, Ryzen 8000, and so much more, and AMD confirms RX 7000 is set to change the world. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, while Apple recently unveiled a fairly impressive M2 chip, the company could have some brand new competition very soon. Originally from an interview with CNET and later by Tom's Hardware, the CEO of Qualcomm made some huge statements. For one, he claims that their upcoming Nuvia-based chip is said to outperform Apple's newest M2. Remember that Nuvia was originally started by three of Apple's former lead chip designers back in 2019, and was bought by Qualcomm last year with the goal of releasing laptop and desktop chips. And what's even better, the company didn't stop at Apple. They're aiming to have, quote, performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period meaning they're set to challenge both Intel and AMD. Now, they aren't ready for it just yet, as Qualcomm CEO claims that sampling won't begin until next year, yet before they were to sample around August of this year. Ultimately, the company could be a very serious contender against AMD and Intel. Time, as always, will tell. Next, I know times have been tough lately, and maybe that's got you looking for a new job or something to do on the site. Well, I've got a great offer for anyone hoping to up their skill or get into a new career, and that's none other than this video's sponsor, Skillshare, an amazing resource for entrepreneurs and freelancers to learn a new skill, like this one on logo designs, which goes through what it takes to make a great logo, sketching it out, typography, and more. With this, you could sell logo designs. They also have classes on creating your first web shop in WordPress, photography, and the list goes on. Not only that, but they're always adding new, premium classes. They never have any ads, and get this, their entire catalog is now available in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. German subtitles. The best part of all this is that the first 1,000 people who visit my link in the description will get a month of Skillshare for free. So what have you got to lose? Get started with your new skill by clicking on the link in the description below. Next up for today, we have an interesting story on NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 4000 GPUs. Originally from well-known leaker Copite 7 Kimmy, in response to a question on heat dissipation, he claims that NVIDIA designed a triple fan cooler for 8102's reference board, meaning NVIDIA could be moving away from their current two-fan design, or at least offer something a bit better for the high end. With that said, a similar rumor was going around for the 3000 series, but obviously that wasn't used for their final design. NVIDIA may not have a choice for next gen though, given the rumored power draw. Regardless, there is allegedly one being used for now. Next up, AMD just had their Financial Analyst Day 2022, and they shared a ton of new info on Ryzen 7000, as well as next-gen tech. Starting things off, we have this slide, which shows that AMD is preparing chips with vCache. Now, it doesn't specifically say 3D vCache, but we can assume it's likely what they mean, so we should see processors similar to their 5800X 3D with Ryzen 7000. Next, they actually give us details about their mobile parts, including Ryzen 8000. For one, we have next-gen Phoenix Point, which is set to be based on Zen 4, and it comes with RDNA 3 graphics. Then when we move here, we can see that their Zen 5 base parts, codenamed Strix Point, come with RDNA 3 Plus graphics and are set to be released by 2024. Moving back to desktop, we have more info on Ryzen 7000. For starters, AMD claims that Ryzen 7000 gets over 5.5 GHz boost, which we have seen before but apparently that's the lower number. With that said, they're claiming just an 8% IPC increase in desktop workloads. They then reiterate that over 15% single core increase. Now, when we look, 5.5 gigahertz is a little over 12% higher than last gen's max, so it should be able to get a bit over 15%, but it likely won't be anything huge. And this is shown in their next slide, which claims a 25% increase in performance per watt, with a 35% increase in overall performance. Those metrics were taken in Cinebench, and I have to say that I'm a bit disappointed. 35% is obviously a huge increase, but Intel has confirmed that their next gen comes with 8 more cores. Sure, they're little cores, but that's still a lot. Basically, AMD could have a tough time at the high end. Either way, there's something even bigger that AMD went over. 
Which brings us to our final story, where we get huge news on AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs. Like the last story, this comes from AMD's Financial Analyst Day, where the Senior VP of Engineering at Radeon Technology Group, David Wang, went over some earth-shattering information. At the event, he shared this slide on their RDNA 3 architecture. Remember that RDNA 3 is AMD's next-gen gaming architecture that makes up their RX 7000 GPUs, or whatever they end up being called. Though, of course, we recently saw RX 7000 cards referenced by C-Sonic, so that is likely the name. Either way, first up, you can see this confirms that next-gen is built on the 5 nanometer process. Of course, we figured as much, but so far, they really only confirmed an advanced node. Next is where things get really interesting. AMD officially confirmed that next-gen GPUs include a chiplet packaging which means a multi-chip module GPU is official. Remember that chiplets are what AMD uses in their Ryzen 5000 CPUs, and they're combined using AMD's Infinity Fabric, to which you see these come with the next-gen Infinity Fabric. Basically, it's happening. Unfortunately, the most recent rumors have shown that they're only releasing with one GPU chiplet, so if it's correct, it won't be like two GPUs combined. Instead, they'll move the cache onto other chiplets, but that's still a huge deal. For one, it gives them room to add more cores on the GPU chip, and it could let them combine more in the future. This is potentially the beginning of a huge change in GPUs, but it doesn't stop there. According to this, RDNA 3 gets a massive 50% more performance per watt over RDNA 2. That's exactly what AMD did with RDNA 1 over GCN, and again with RDNA 2 over RDNA 1. Let's just say that next gen has a huge chance for big performance gains. With that said, if the rumors on AMD's next gen GPUs are true, AMD have could have a tough on. time. Still, this is a big performance jump and a huge deal for the future of graphics. Oh, and AMD confirmed that they are coming later this year. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen GPUs? Or what about their next-gen CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to check out Skillshare. And as always, have a great day!